Hello and welcome to the podcast. Breakfast on Midlands 183 with thanks to Tillamore Credit Union's current account, tillamorecu.ie. I'm ready to laugh. Let's do this. Um, Cormac has a joke for us. Do you want to hear Cormac's joke? Yeah, sure. Right, let's do this. Why couldn't the bicycle stand up? Well, why couldn't the bicycle stand up? I don't, I don't know. Any idea, Cameron? Because it was too tired. Get it? <laughs> too tired. I love I it. I do get it. <laughs> yeah. I do get it. Thanks for that, Cormac. Thank you, Cormac. Uh, let's see what else we have in here. Duncan takes in, as usual, mm. the legendary Bad Dad Gagger. Uh, Duncan said, what's the difference between Superman and me? That Superman who's supervision, while I require supervision. <laughs> <laughs> a very good one I like that there's a few Olympics jokes coming in here okay Kev t- sent us in one he said breaking oh, news hang on hang on hang on yep. get the drum roll for Kev now we need something big okay you ready for this breaking news Ireland have won another gold medal Ron Seal fencing <laughs> ah go on that's a hit Cameron that's a hit that's a good one <laughs> get the audience in here you were trying not to laugh there for a second. I was not. You were. I was not. I could see by the face you were trying not to Stop laugh. Stop that you, now. You wanted to boo poor old Kev. <laughs> you leave Kev alone. <laughs> He's trying his best. Derek said, I'm watching a lot of the Olympics this year, but I'm sick and tired of the athletes talking about all the hard work and sacrifice they're putting in. What do they want? A medal? <laughs> Podge said it's nice to see Craig David there as part of the Great Britain Olympic Archery Management Team. He's the chief bow selector. <laughs> <laughs> the Olympic jokes are great. They're, they're really uh, they're hitting them well. Do you know they had to drop hide and seek from the Olympics? No. Yeah, good players are just too hard to find. <laughs> <laughs> hear about poor old Aladdin. Aladdin is in Aladdin. the magic carpet yeah, rider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. He's out of been banned from the Olympics. Yeah, he's not allowed to enter the uh, magic carpet race. Why not? He was caught using performance enhancing rugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brilliant! Really good. Hi lads, if laziness was an Olympic sport, I'd come in fourth, just so I wouldn't have to walk up to the podium. <laughs> <laughs> that's from Chris. <laughs> <That's very good. laughs> Mary said, "I've always wanted to try pole dancing, but the only pole dancing I do is holding on to the safety bar in the bathroom." <laughs> Expecting that to get a lot. Oh, that's brilliant. Actually, no, you know what? I'm going to keep my mouth shut. That's fair enough, yeah. Um, no need to go anywhere with that. Do you know my mate Joe? I don't. You don't? Well, Joe started the uh, Dolly Parton diet. The Dolly Parton diet? Yeah, What's that? Uh, it makes Jolene. Jolene, Jolene, Jolene. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> oh, no. That's only because you're paying them. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Why did Karen press Control Alt Delete? I don't know. She wanted to see the task manager. <laughs> 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 oh, cheers, Borg. <laughs> here, I had to tell the bosses here in Midlands 103. Three companies are after me, so you better give me a raise. Okay. Yeah. Did they do that? Well, they said, well, what company? I said, well, the ESB, Broadband, Credit Union, they're all looking for me. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's give you one more. Okay. Lads, I went to see my friend's new baby and she asked, Do I want to wind him? I thought it was a little bit too harsh, so just give him a dead leg instead. <laughs> <laughs> that is your bad dad gags. We're not going to say stuff like Big holiday Friday. Cameron, enjoy your weekend. <laughs> bad dad gags. With Tullamore Test and Repair Centre, where all mechanic services are performed by highly qualified mechanics. Now open from 8 to 8 on Mondays and Tuesdays. Tullamoretest.ie Get this show in full Monday to Friday from 6.30am to 9 on Midlands 103. Our favourite slang words have been revealed. Mm Mm-hmm. And uh, one of the most popular ones, or most favourite in Ireland, is black stuff. Yep. And uh, that's, as we know, slang for Guinness. That came out on top, followed by Sherlock. And effing and blinding. Others on the list of Ireland's most loved slang phrases include give it a lash, stop the lights, and how she couldn't. But go on, Delira and Exira, Jesus, Mary and Joseph are the most hated phrases. What's your favourite slang phrase? Let's get a Midlands version of this. 083 3010 103. Text WhatsApp or WhatsApp voice note. Your favourite slang word to use. Is it Sherlock? Ah, Sherlock. Ashley, you know yourself. 
What do you think? Well, you're missing the music. You can get the show in full weekday mornings from 6.30am on Midlands 103. Quick one for you. Yeah. My little lad, uh, he's only five, but he's very creative. Okay. Okay. And he'll say like a funny sentence and then he'll go, Daddy, we have to write that story. Oh, so cool. he'll say something kind of really obscure and then he'll insist we write a story. And I tend to go, oh, we will, yeah. <laughs> no bother, we will. <laughs> you have to encourage them. Yeah, exactly. So he stuck me to this one, right? Yeah. <laughs> and on, he on. wanted to write a story called The Policeman Who Lost His Head. Ah, okay. What a great premise. So I, I told him, right, okay, well, you dictate and I'll write it. Okay, so I wrote it. Well, he told me what to write and he did the animation and everything. Would you like to hear it? I would. I really would. Right, okay, well, let's do this. The policeman who lost his head. Once upon a time, there was a police officer. He tumbled into the police station and his head fell off. Yeah. He tried to look for it, but he could not because he had no head. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he tried to call for help, but he had no head. Oh, hmm. God. His friend walked in and he said, hmm, you look a bit odd. He tried to tell him what had happened, but he had no head. Oh, my God. His friend said, you look different. Did you get new glasses? But all the policeman could do was wave his arms around. (laughs) Suddenly, his friend realised that he had no head. No, stop. He then helped him find his head, but it could not be found. Oh, He then became known as the headless police officer. (laughs) He then lived happily headless after the end. There you go. That's our debut story. What do you think? Oh, I love you. Can I show you the animation there? There you go. There he is with no head and there's his friend. There's his colleague. Who does have a head. The the uh, anatomy of the police officer is interesting. It is, yes. It's kind of <laughs> like, uh, well, that officer has no head. Neither of them have arms. We only discovered that. And then he said, right, well, the next story is going to be the police officer who had no arms. Oh, so it's just already setting up the sequel. Absolutely, yeah. God, he knows what he's doing. Uh, yeah, and then it, it could be the police officer who has no legs either. So, you know, you go. It's all very impressive. Aside from the um, child scrawl writing. Oh, sorry, is that your writing? Are you? There's nothing wrong with my writing. Actually, you're right. It is very scrawly. But that's what happens when you're left-handed, David. Oh. That's the excuse I use. That I explains use. a terrible yeah. amount. Yeah I, yeah, I get away with that. <laughs> so there you go. Roald Dahl, Ina Blyton, uh, who else? Watch um, your backs. <laughs> watch your backs. We're coming for you. Yeah, Julia Donaldson. Never mind your gruffalo. What about the headless police officer? Peter, if we can start every Monday in this fashion, I will uh, be even happier coming to work. There you go, Cormac. It's going to be a weekly thing for you now to write a new story every week for David. Every Sunday like evening, just get on yeah. with it. Get Hurry on the up. other page. We have deadlines to meet. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Breakfast with Peter Dunn on Midlands 103. Weekday mornings from 6.30am. These are the highlights. Tom Grennan, Midlands 103. Peter with you. Good morning. Welcome to Wednesday. It's 13 minutes past eight. And... Ireland's favourite slang words have been revealed. The likes of the black stuff for Guinness. Phrases like give it a lash, stop the lights and how she couldn't. Our most loved slang phrases. But never mind that. What's the Midlands' favourite slang phrase? 083 30 10 103 when you text WhatsApp or WhatsApp voice note. That'd be better. You can WhatsApp voice note me. That'd sound even better. Mike said, when someone asks how you're feeling, I'm only hanging on one hinge. (laughs) I love that. Ray suggests, me head is melting. Me head is melting. Deirdre said, uh, mine is arse ways, Peter. (laughs) I once had a plumber in to fix my shower. He was originally from the Philippines, but living and working here 20 plus years. And he said to me, whoever installed this for you, put it in arse ways. She said, I laughed at the way he said it in his accent. (laughs) And Mary said, that baits Banneher. Yeah, I'm intrigued by that phrase, actually. That baits Banneher. Oh, that baits the band. And I had a quick look. And apparently, that phrase, nobody knows where it uh, originally came from. Don't know, is it Banneher in Offaly? Or is is Banneher a type of sand that was used in graves? And the phrase was, um, Banneher baits the devil. Hmm. Intrigued. Let's dig into that a little bit more. But in the meantime, what's your favourite slang word? 
or slang phrase. Let me know. Let's get a Midlands version of this up and running. No radio? It's fine. You can get the full show Monday to Friday from 6.30am to 9 on midlands103.com or you can download the free app from, I don't know, wherever you get your apps, I suppose. What an anthem. Huey Lewis and the news. Power of Love, Midlands 103. Good morning, it's Peter with you. It's 22 minutes past eight. Apparently, the best way to stop seagulls from stealing your chips is to stare into their eyes. No. A bird expert has said that glaring or pointing at them can scare them away. Professor Paul Graham also advised us to stand against the wall to avoid the birds dive bombing us out of the sky. And I remember we were in Air Square in Galway. Uh, when was it last Christmas? And I bought my little lad a hot dog. And I could see two seagulls and they were getting closer and closer. And it was like personal security standing in front of them, you know, arms folded. Go away. Go away. But uh, a study from Exeter University found that birds who aren't being paid attention tend to strike more quickly. But here, never mind Professor Paul Green. Do you remember when we had a proper seagull consultant on the show? Do you remember that? Good morning, Tommy. Who's this? It's Peter Dunn here in uh, Midlands 103. I'm just... I've never heard of you. All right, no, that's no bother at all, Tommy. Come here, you're a seagull consultant. Can I ask you, how does that work? Ah, so I can talk to the seagulls. You know what I mean? I can ask them what's wrong with them and why they're acting the maggot like. How do you talk to the seagulls? Oh, I look them in the eyes. And then they know I mean business, huh? No, that's okay. So, Tommy, I'm, I'm interested in how you talk to the seagulls. Can you give me a demonstration? Of course I can. Come here. Come here to me. Come here, you. Come over here to me now. What's your problem? Will you leave the people alone? Don't be bothering them at all. Don't be doing nothing like that, no. So I don't care who was here first. You're getting too big for your boots now. I'm in charge here. And what I... Ah! Ah! Come here, will you? Come out! Hello, Tommy. Tommy, are you okay? Tommy, can you hear me? Ah, get me! Go with me! Yeah. Yeah, I'm here, yeah. Not a successful negotiation, Tommy, no? Here, yeah, I said I can talk to them. I didn't say I'd get home with them now. Thanks for that, Tommy. Uh, best of luck in the future. Yeah, right. Get this show in full Monday to Friday from 6.30am to 9 on Midlands 103. Oh. Benson Boone on your feel good breakfast, Midlands 103. Good morning, is Peter with you? Right, let's get to more of your slang words, your slang phrases. So, Ireland's favourite ones have been revealed, but never mind that. What about the Midlands' favourite slang words? <laughs> These are fantastic. Um, Teresa said, keep her lit. Brenda said, hey Peter, heard a great one in Kilkenny one time after a night out. I asked someone how they were feeling and the reply was, I'm as sick as two small hospitals. <laughs> or what's the other one? Uh, I'm as sick as a small plane to Lourdes. I love it. Uh, another texter in here saying, another saying we used to use uh, years ago was, all to one side like Balanalak. I'd never heard that. What does that mean? All to one side like Balanalak. I'd love to know more. Morning, Peter. Say hi to Monty, to Jella and Mam. That's from Mary. She said, my favourite phrase is tiptoeing tip through the tulips. Oh, that's look for an old kiss, isn't it? Under the midnight sky. Nice one, Mary. Martin said, a face like a bulldog chewing a wasp and stung in the arse by another one. <laughs> Um, hi Peter As mentioned by Tommy the Seagull consultant Acting the maggot Has to be one of the finest Midland slang phrases ever <laughs> Can you imagine Going abroad somewhere And saying to somebody ah, Come on Don't be acting the maggot now <laughs> You know Don't be acting the maggot over there <laughs> Speaking of abroad Hi Peter I'm from Valencia in Spain I'm living here about 30 years And I love the slang word Banjaxed that's from Maria or Maria que tal Maria banjaxed yeah what a brilliant phrase isn't it I love it breakfast with Peter Dunn on Midlands 103 weekday mornings from 6.30am these are the highlights are you familiar with Hank Azaria Hank Azaria is one of the voiceover characters on The Simpsons voice, voiceover actors on The Simpsons he probably voices the most characters in the programme so he went to London recently and he went to visit Buckingham Palace 
and he went up to one of those guards. You know the King's guards are dressed in red and they have the big Marge Simpson type hair, the big head in them. But he went up to see if he could make one of them laugh. Do you know the way they can't laugh? They can't show any emotion or anything like that. So let's see if he managed to make them laugh. I do mow the bartender. Just wanted to thank you for uh, your service here. I'm also a police chief wagon. So I know what it's like to, you know, do my duty. I'm also a snake. So if I were to rob anything, you certainly would deter me from that, sir. <laughs> my goodness, you... I'm also a Professor Frank, my good man. <clears throat> um, my goodness, you do seem to be concentrated and not at all bothered by what I'm doing over here. Uh, kudos to you, sir. Hmm. I don't think he's gonna... I'm comic book guy, does that matter? <laughs> Best guard ever. No, not even a blink out of him. Fair play to him. If that was me, I wouldn't be able to do that job. I'd just burst out laughing and just head straight for the social welfare office. Everything you need to kickstart your day. Breakfast with Peter Dunn on Midlands 183. Before we get into fantastic facts, David, what's your favourite slang word? My favourite slang word? I'm a big fan of Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, good old-fashioned Jesus. It's <laughs> so, it applies to so many things. Yeah, true. Good and bad. What about you? Um, I like acting the maggot. You do. Or you lug ya. You lug. You lug. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, here, 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 here. What about Kelly Harrington's? Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. Good night, Irene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I love it. She carried that one brilliantly. She's brilliant. She's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right, fantastic facts. Did you know it takes an average of four seconds for silence to become awkward? Ugh. Ugh, that's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it goes beyond having a thought and then just it turns yeah. into not talking. You just need to fill that space. You know, gotcha. Like, oh, wow. Anyway, in radio, it's probably about um, 200%. Years. It, well, I was thinking <laughs> you can last about two seconds and then someone has to panic. True, yeah, yeah. That's when there's a technical glitch. Like, ah, somebody hit the button. We don't experience those. Never happened, not even once, David. <laughs> <laughs> Um, did you know dinosaurs are not technically extinct? Did you know that? Because there's chickens and birds and exactly, stuff. Exactly, yeah. You've been paying attention, David. I like dinosaurs. What yeah. can I say? The closest relative to a dinosaur is a chicken. Yeah. But And it's funny, when you look at a chicken run, you go, oh yeah, right. Honestly, <laughs> if you uh, only saw the chicken and not its relative height compared to the rest of the world, you'd be like, what a dinosaur. Oh God, you know? yeah. You're right, yeah, yeah. yeah. If like chickens were like... 24 foot tall you'd be going God almighty yeah isn't it mad how dark that, 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 that it evolved to just this thing that produces eggs for us to eat when, yeah. it, when when originally it was this big epic dinosaur yeah they wanted it well yeah yeah that would have been very dangerous if we were around at the same time <laughs> yeah I suppose, is that evolution or de, de, de- evolution? you're getting too deep David you're getting, let, let me bring it back now let me bring it back this is your you, you just continue fantastic facts I'll sit a little bit quieter here <laughs> did you know music is so influential on the brain that the type you listen to will actually change the, your ability to uh, think different and look at the world I totally believe that absolutely I just think music is a gift that keeps giving that's why and we it, do feel it, good music here on Midlands 103. So and you, you feel do good. Simple. so bloody well, Peter. Thank you very much, David. I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's true. give you, Let's give you one more. Let's right. give you one more. Did you ever get a headbutt off a cat? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. plenty of time. And that means they like you and they trust you. I've, I've presumed that's the case. Yeah, that's it. It's called bunting. bunting. So they give you a little kind of nudge. All right, little, mate. Little, yeah, 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 a little nudge. That's what Zinedine Zidane wanted to do to Marco Materazzi. <laughs> Materazzi. That That's all he wanted to do. He wanted to say, look, I trust you. Got himself a red card for it. Ridiculous. I wonder what Materazzi said to him. Yeah, I wonder. Yeah. Ah, well, <coughs> they never know. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> David, good luck. Thank you. Catch you later. Well, you're missing the music. You can get the show in full weekday mornings from 6.30am on Midlands 103. Gabrielle, when a woman, Midlands 103 is Peter with you. Good morning. Welcome to Wednesday. Looking for your favourite slang words. The Midlands favourite slang words. Pauline said, hi, I like the slang, you Luther, yeah. <laughs> uh, Paul said, come here to me. Come here to me, will you? <laughs> Even when you're standing next to somebody... 
Come here to me. Come here to me. Um, <laughs> that's a few brilliant ones in here. What else? Uh, hi, Peter. It's more of a cork term, but I love the word gowl. You gowl. <laughs> Her Irish slang for no is Oh will yeah 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 083 30 10 103 When you text WhatsApp Or WhatsApp voice note uh, Big shout to Ronan Berry Who's sitting in for Will Faulkner On Midlands today And Ronan reminded me of A David Hollywood classic slang How did I forget this? Holy balls No radio it's fine. You can get the full show Monday to Friday from 6.30am to 9 on midlands103.com or you can download the free app from, I don't know, wherever you get your apps, I suppose. Thank you, David. Let's do it. Let's put all your bugbears into room 101. Big hello to Dorino got in touch. Dorina said, uh, Hi, Peter. Spiders and large moths, they should be put into room 101. What do you think? I've, I've no issue with spiders, but moths are just idiots, aren't they? <laughs> they are, come on. Like, seriously. Stupid oh, bashing around. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, I ate your clothes. Hitting Apologies. off the curtains, you know. <laughs> oh, look, there's a light. Everybody, let's go over to the light. Idiots. What do you get from the light? You know? no, you're right, though. Spiders yeah. are class. I like spiders, yeah. Uh, they get a bad, bad rap, but um, if we could all just get Embrace behind them. them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Peter said, uh, Room 101, starting sentences with so. So, <laughs> my one is now. I'm like, now. Now. Yeah. <laughs> I do that all the time. Yeah. Now. I think I get it from me, Mammy. I'm going to blame her. It's certainly now. an Irishism, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Uh, Martina said, people that don't use indicators on roundabouts drive me mad. A hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. It's really easy. Like, the, the button is right there in front of you. Just hit the lever. It, It'll be it, fine. It really helps other people around you. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Dean Mullingar said I hate when someone at the check you're behind someone at the checkout and they run back to get something they forgot yeah <sighs> do you mind do you mind I just have to tip back and get something I'm of course I don't mind I'm, I'm that really fool mind. I, I so often forget what I'm in the shops for <laughs> so uh, look I get it I know it's annoying but please put up with us um, or if you want to get you, you have to reach like 100 euro to get your vouchers back for the following week and you're, you're at like 96 and you go, oh, sorry. Uh, um, and you just end up buying batteries or no, something. That I won't, I won't accept. That's that's <laughs> the horse manure. Uh, <laughs> this is one of the things I dislike about um, the supermarket. This is, I'll put this in room 101 if it's okay. Okay, go for it. It's up to you. Um, you go into the shop, you do your shopping and say, do you want to like become, what are these things, members, value oh, cards? Oh yeah, do you have a club card or something? Or, yeah, they yeah. just want your personal data. <laughs> that's what you're signing away for for like a 10% discount which is substantial over the course of time so like you do do it I don't I I, I, I don't I'm, I'm, I'm not giving anyone my personal data <laughs> another thing I hate you remain anonymous to these supermarkets David fair play to you every, fight the man every cookies notice on every website I go through every single you category and I disarm it yeah oh god now I know that uh, you know ultimately if I have an app of some description it, they, they get my information they sell it to a third party there's no mm. point but god I hate it <laughs> you read all the terms and conditions you do I don't read the terms and conditions. I just like look for the handy turn off buttons as you cycle through the various okay. multiple different bloody entities that your information's been given to. It's just the world. Do you not just go reject all? Th- that's the best website when you get that option. But often these things are designed to be sneaky, aren't they? And reject all isn't isn't there for every one of them. Fair enough. OK, that's why it takes you ages to Google stuff, doesn't it? 100%. And yeah. not, not great for journalism. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Kev said he wants to put people who don't show up on time for the bus in room 101. People yeah. who don't show up. Well, surely they just missed the bus. Yeah. I remember you giving out one day because you missed the bus. Because the bus wasn't late like it normally is. <clears throat> I remember that. This is a few years ago. David was giving out stink because it was like the bus, the five o'clock bus normally leaves at half five. And David arrived at half five and the bus was early. And I, t- I think you were going to complain to the bus company. I think I had, <laughs> to be honest, I was in such a dark place with buses at that time. <laughs> I did complain to the bus company. 
Oh, Kev goodness. also wants to put Liverpool Football Club into Room 101. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. Uh, I look at, no, no, I, no I'd, I'd like Liverpool being around. You know, I, I'd nice. say that. I'd miss them if they weren't there, you know that. You'd miss you'd miss the misery, the hatred. Yes, and the rivalry and et cetera, yeah. But there you go, Kev, we'll put it into Room 101 for you. Um, right, let's give you mine. Mine is Celebrity Chefs Who Get Angry. Okay, so there's the English bloke. Um, Gordon, Gordon Ramsay. Ramsay. Well, I think, it's, but it's like a theme. You know, chefs have to be angry. Why do you have to be angry? It's only food. Get over it. Yeah, it's a real trope, isn't it? Like, yeah. Like, the, where's, where's the human resources there? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if your boss was coming and go, ah, and smash the place up and insult you down to the ground, you'd go, hold on for a second. Don't talk to me like that. It's one of these industries where if you're like a an elite chef in the elite competitive world of Michelin star restaurants, mm-hmm. you get to rule the roost because of your talent. And then therefore the institution puts up with belligerence, kind of like we do in radio and, and our presenters. We put up with them because of their apparent talent. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, David. You're so I'm welcome. I'm looking forward to chatting to you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>